frustrated if you're playing a game of chess and the server goes down or you get disconnected or something like that um but yeah so anyways let are we live right now okay so i'm sorry i just had an issue with the stream i don't know what you guys heard or what you didn't hear uh let me know but again online multiplayer chess we're going to be playing this today there's a bunch of bugs we need to figure out we're going to be doing that for the first 15 20 minutes please don't get too frustrated if we go through stuff and i've already repeated this i'm sorry but um i don't know if you guys can see me or not and again this is always a bit buggy all right so first of all before i get too far into the stream i need to give a massive shout out to cherry servers for hooking me up with a really awesome server for today's stream uh, i'm going to be using this server for a few videos in future series as well and anyways, just massive shout out to Cherry Servers. Definitely go check out their uh, website here. You can rent servers for like 10, 15 cents an hour. Uh, they're really good. They have an awesome support team and they've just been a pleasure to work with. So massive shout out to them. Definitely check out their website. There's a link in the description. And again, just thank you guys so much from Cherry Servers because without you, this would not have been, pos have been possible. All right, so now let me show you guys how you can actually connect and start playing this game. So a little tutorial first uh, so that everyone knows how to kind of get set up here. So if you're tuning into the stream later, just, I guess, rewind back and see this. But anyways, if you go to my GitHub, link in the description, link in the pinned comment, you should see um, a page that looks like this. Now there's a readme file here and it literally just goes through exactly how to do everything. So what you need to do is download this repository and run the game.py file. Now I tried to make this as intuitive as possible. And when you run the game.py file, I wrote a script that should automatically install Pygame and pip for you. If this doesn't work, you're going to have to mess with installing pip and Pygame yourself. Again, let me know if there's any issues. Use the stream chat, use the GitHub chat for issues. Uh, I'm going to be checking and we're kind of just going to be tweaking things the first 15 20 minutes so please you know bear with me on that guys uh but anyways follow this instructions try to connect the servers live right now if you double click the game.py file you should actually get hooked up i can see a few people joining on the server right now and uh before we you know go too far i will kind of walk through some of the code and how this works but if you guys want to go in the background and kind of be listening to this while i go through the instructions feel free we've already got four people connected two games going um and yeah, we'll just be going through all that. So do this, get this working, GitHub, link in the description. I'm just repeating this because everyone is like just joining in the stream. So I wanna make sure people see it if they're just coming on now, uh, but remind people in the stream chat and all of that. So the server specs that I actually got, <laughs> I got a four core, or sorry, not four core, four Xeon processors, two 1080 Ti's. Uh, the one I have is actually only 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I was supposed to get 64, but like something messed up with that. And then I think I have like, uh, what do you call it? Some, I don't know how much space I have, like 250 gigabyte SSD or something. Uh, all right, let me just see what's going on here. I'm running into a few issues on the server again, guys. I got to fix a bunch of stuff as we go through. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing now, just fixing some of the stuff on the server side. And just bear with me, keep connecting the server, try to play the games. If you run into bugs, please let me know in the side because I, I'm relying on you guys to help me test this out. Uh, and then I also implemented a spectator mode into this. Ah, you guys, we're getting key errors here. Um, yeah, you guys can't connect. Okay, I'm going to shut down the server right now, guys. I'll be back on in one second. There's, just, there's a key error. I know how to fix this. It's just going to take a second uh, because when you guys are connecting to the games, it's just it's a little buggy here. Um, so land of games. Uh, okay, I see here. So connections mod just two equals equals zero. Yeah, so again, guys, just get that stuff going and then we'll we'll get this all working here. I just got to figure out this issue because I have something where like each game is represented by a key in a dictionary. And if you join, the key error can sometimes be off um, and, and all of that. So we'll have to fix and work with this. Uh, what I might actually do is just get it so that uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult. G equals zero. Um... Let's see here. I think I'm just going to pick a game that doesn't have two connections on it and add you on that. How big is the... You guys are asking me all these questions. I'll get to them in a second. I just really want to get this working with the key errors. I, I haven't had many people on it at once. So again, we're going to have some issues going as we get through here. Uh, is the line of games minus zero. Um, is this open source? Yeah, guys, this is open source. You can go look at everything on GitHub. Okay. So let's just get a list of all the keys and then we'll assign a player based on the amount of connections. Oh, we shouldn't do it based on connections because then 
connection bar just to equals equals zero. Yeah, so this was an issue I knew I was going to run into creating new games. So this is going to be difficult to create new games and assign people into the games. I haven't had this many people connecting, even with you guys like 10, 20 people connecting it. um It just broke here. So we'll have to see how to fix this. So what I was trying to do right now is say after every two people connect, it um, creates a new game. But what was happening was people were connecting and then just instantly leaving and then it wasn't working. Okay, let's just do we'll do one more test run with this server running and then see if we can get this to uh, to work. Okay, guys, so try to connect to the game. Um, connection reset by peer. Try to connect. I'm going to be monitoring the server here. And I might even connect in in a second and see if I can get my spectator mode to work. But I need you guys to connect before I can see if everything's actually working or not. Again, if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, this should be the repo that you download. It should look like this, except you won't have this server file most likely. And then just double click on game and it should load you up into the chess game. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in a second, but I need enough people to connect that I can get in what's called spectator mode. So let me see if I can do this now. Other player left. Uh, spectator mode is not working, so I gotta fix that too. Um, oh, a bunch of people are leaving. New player connected. Connection reset by peer. Number of connections three. Number of games two. Let me know if this is working for you guys or not. If you're in games or not, because again, I don't know. Game one ended. Player none left. Game one. Key error. Player left. Yeah. Okay. I don't think this is working yet, guys. So we gotta give it a second here. If you're in the game, please let me know in the chat, guys. I haven't heard set, had anyone tell me about any issues or not in the chat yet, so I got to see. Okay, I'm going to stop the server, and we're just going to get this this fixed currently uh, because this is a bit of an issue. So I was having this thing where I was, like, deleting games. I think I'm just going to stop deleting games and just add more keys um, into the dictionary. So when I create a new game, so game connections. Oh, that's why it's not working. Okay, so we'll say current underscore game underscore id again guys just give me a minute or two let me know if you have any bugs please i really do care if you have the bugs because i need to fix them yeah i know the server's offline it's going online in a second okay so we'll say g equals current underscore game underscore id and we'll just say after every two connections so we'll say like yeah if connections modules two equals zero then we'll just create a new game with current game id so current uh, current underscore game ID underscore game underscore ID and then we'll add one to that okay so that needs to be incremented plus equals one and then G equals current game ID and then rather we won't delete any games which is what I was doing at some point here uh, F Dell yeah we don't need to do this game ended get rid of that okay so let's try this now I just got to push this code over to the server and then we should be able to actually run that so go desktop chess game server I'm hoping this is as easy as the fix is because if it's not then you know we're gonna be running into some issues here I'm also just gonna modify this specs file um, all right okay run that now not what i want to do same thing again okay there we go all right let's go guys connect now and see if this is working uh we've already have two games new player connected number of connections one number of games oh yeah the number of games output here is going to be wrong but that's fine let me try to connect now i had this all working before i don't know what's going on i think it's just you guys are flooding me with games and i don't know i didn't code the server well enough to handle this so let's run a game name there we go. So I'm waiting for player. Let's see if someone else joins in, if I can get in a game with someone here. So whoever's going to join next is going to be in my game. Oh, there we go. I'm in a game. Okay. Let's, so let's let me play. Okay. Um, his turn. Holy crap. A lot of you guys are joining. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I did not expect this to happen. <laughs> I did not expect this many people to have to join the game immediately. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, this will be interesting to see if this works. If you guys can see my, this is my server screen right now. Oh my God. Okay. Um, people are leaving. People are joining. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. Okay. <laughs> Whoever's playing against me needs to make a move because I'm waiting for them right now. I'm going to have to leave the game if they take too long. Holy crap. 
Jesus. Yeah, if you guys can't tell, it's a little bit. <laughs> Some guy named himself Hey Tim. Tim's time. Oh, I'm waiting. Player two left this game, clearly. Black is winner. Okay, let me just do this again. Um. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'll run through how all this code works, but I want to see if this is going to work. Tim, uh, let's run a game here. Okay, I'm with Blue Jay. All right, Blue Jay, your turn, buddy. Let's go. What? Okay. Uh, he moved there. I'm black. All right, let's see if he can play with me. By the way, guys, you see this mug? Available for purchase. You can go right underneath in the, uh, where is it? Underneath the description, you should be able to see that. So I'm just testing out the game. This is what it looks like. I'm in a game right now with Blue Jay. It seems to be working. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys, what's going on with you. Ran out of input, unpickling, stack, underflow, service, server offline. Okay, that's an issue. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to need to fix here. And by the way, I'm just going to like, don't get too attached to your chess game because I'm going to have to shut down the server at random times and fix stuff. But I don't know. I think this is pretty interesting. And you guys can see the kind of output. Like, look at my server code right now. Look what's happening. Look how many people are connected. I have, uh, these connections are wrong. We have 49. That's wrong for games too. Like people are just joining, leaving. You can see this guy left game 48. Um, all right. So yeah, just keep joining in guys. We'll keep testing this. And this probably is about like 24 hours worth of coding. Cause the stream that I did it in, uh, I only went for 18 hours. Did I not move? Uh, I, what is happening here? Yeah, this is not correct. I'm trying to join a game, but I'm still waiting. Server offline. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of fixing. So the stream might go longer than I expected. Um, okay, let me quit this game. He can be the winner of that one. And let's get in a new one and see what I can get going here. There's some latency issues here. Um, oh my god. Okay. Uh, join. All right, I am black. Their turn. Who's going here? Sahil is playing right now. Uh, Joyan's time. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So clearly this this is not working at the same level that I I thought it would. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see if we can get this going soon. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, let me know your your errors, please. Send them in the chat because I need to know what is going on here, Tim. See player one time, Tim time. Okay, I can move, but it still says player one. I don't even know if I'm in a game with someone. Oh my god. Okay, he is going. So I he must have just named himself that. So when you guys load up, it should ask you to input like a name at um at some point. But yeah, let me know how this is going for you guys. For me, this seems to be working like okay. Obviously, there's some bugs I gotta tune out here. Oh, hey, uh, Revu, thank you for the $1 super chat, man. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see <laughs> if we can get this going. And these seem like the naming thing seems to have some issues too. Um, yeah, I was trying to add some castling in here as well after, but I was getting some kind of issues with the castling. So we'll see, like if you guys try to castle and see if your castling works and let me know. So I'm using Ubuntu. I cannot resize window. It's bigger on my laptop screen. Oh God. Sorry about that. Uh, I can't really help you with that. Um, oh, why wouldn't he take my, that's an interesting decision. Um, okay. Let's take that. I'm not very good at chess either, by the way, guys, I don't know why I decided to create chess, but I did. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Okay. How many guys have we got in here right now? seven connections 71 games that's because we're not clearing games i'm just incrementing ids of games um when will you continue the tower game at some point i'll continue the tower game where's my pie game script my turn hmm okay so this is working for me guys let me know if this is working for you again people are going to be leaving joining um all that kind of stuff and shout out to review thank you for the uh the super chat five bucks again loving your videos and it helped me so much in my programming journey appreciate you mate thank you man i appreciate you that super chat's awesome means a lot man thank you okay guys i'm gonna do i'm gonna start writing some more code so i apologize to whoever i'm playing right now playing against right now i'm gonna write some code to hopefully fix this server a little bit but again i need you guys to let me know in the chat if it's working or if it's not because that's gonna be like <laughs> that, that i need i need to know that 
Otherwise, this is not going to go very well. You guys need to tell me what's going wrong with all these videos. Try to castle as well because castling is like a, a huge thing that I was trying to work on earlier. Um, and I want to see if that's working. If you don't know what castle is, it's like when you switch the king with the rook. And the way that I did it is you have to click the rook to go to the king. So what I want to do now is number of games should really just be equal to number of connections over two. Um, uh, I don't even know. I don't even think I could show the number of games running. Pickle data was truncated. Load key eight server offline. Oh God. Okay. Um, pickle data was truncated. That one's a, t I have to change that now. <laughs> pickle. Okay. Let's just do that. Um, all right. So for those of you that don't know how this works, essentially I have, these are, these are all my scripts. Okay. And what happens is I have this server code running on this external Linux server. It is this one right here that you guys can see and it's handling all of the connections in and out of this game. Now what it's doing is it's storing the games on the server and then it's sending those games, like the data for those games to each player. So what happens is when someone moves in one game, it will move like in the other game that they're connected with. Now, the issue that I'm having right now is having all these different games running at once. I obviously haven't programmed the server to work well enough to do this. So you can see like people are just keep disconnecting and reconnecting. But I was in a game and it was working fine for me. So, I mean, I don't know what like is wrong with other people unless people just keep leaving immediately and playing against other people. And if you want to post like formal issues, code, whatever on the issue page on the GitHub, then I can look on that as well. And I'm going to be updating that GitHub if I make changes to the code here. So I just want to print the number of connections when people connect now. And when people disconnect, I'm minusing the connections. Um, let's see here. Oh, we, okay. So keeping track of the connections is something that I need to do better now too, because if you, for some reason, like, if you get this exception, uh, does it break when you get this exception? No, it doesn't break. Hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. If not gaming games. Okay. All right. I think the server code's fine. We're just going to keep testing this, uh, running the server with two connections. We got two games going right now. Try to stay in the game if you guys can for, um, like a fair amount of time just to test out if this is working. Now I had this spectator mode that I had implemented, but for some reason, the spectator mode wasn't working. Uh, I'm going to try to fix that. And also this is the main game script. And what I did at the top here is I did all this jazz so that if you don't have pip or you don't have Pygame game installed, what happens is it automatically installs it for you. So it just imp implements this thing. There's actually a script called get pip and it has the byte code for pip. You can see it's like 21,000 lines or something. And so you don't actually have to install pip because I have the actual pip in the file. And then what happens is it imports that file and then it tries to use that to install Pygame. game. Uh, how can I talk? It may be working because you're running the server on your network. No, no, the servers. No guys, this server is sorry. This server is running on, um, like an external server. Like this server is in like Lithuania or something. I don't even know where it is, but it's, um, it's not working. It's not running on my network. So you guys will be able to join the game and I can see like, Hey, two left game, J bros left game, number of connections to number of games that should be changed. I'm going to restart the server guys. Um, because I just need to change one thing here. Um, and modify so we don't I don't get this weird game output anymore because that game output is not correct Now I had this really cool spectator mode that I coded and it was working and then now it's not working. So that's great, but <laughs> We'll see if I can get it to work. I just want to comment out this Comment save X Okay, so I'm gonna try to work on getting this um, What do you call it? the spectator mode to work from my end. You guys just keep playing and let me know again if you have issues and we're just going to piece through this and hopefully by the time we hit like in the next 10-15 minutes everything will be working and I can just play against some of you guys and just chat with you on the live stream. If you if you guys are new here to join the game, link in the description, go to the GitHub. Uh I think I probably still have it up and there's instructions on how to get the game running on your thing. You can skip step 1. 
as it should just install Pygame for you automatically. This is the repo and I haven't modified anything from the game end, so it should just work for you guys. Now I'm going to try to get this spectator thing working because for me, I was having this spectator thing, this spectator issue. Um, hey guys, left game seven. Hey Tim, left game eight. J bros. So guys, are you guys, hey Tim, J bros too. Are you guys leaving the game or is it kicking you from the game? That's something that I need to know. Um, and like connection reset by peer. I don't know what issue that is. There's a ton of stuff that I just, I don't know. So we have to see like if this is working or not. Um, J bros, I see you in the chat. Are you leaving the games or are you being kicked from the game? And thank you for your congratulations on 30k. Um, okay, so let's up the update this file. You guys can't know what's in that, so I'm gonna have to hide that. Um, <laughs> let's see this here. I'm just gonna. Someone just sent me a message on Discord here, so I'm just gonna have to uh, grab this here. So keep going guys i'm reading the chat if you have any questions let me know but if you have the errors please send them because we get we're just going through the debugging stage i know it's kind of boring right now but that's all we can really do um until i figure out what these issues are but it does look to be working like fairly well to be quite honest with you so we'll see you know if we can get this going all right uh hey tim left game eight number of connections four it's kicking me, kick me out of game. It's kicking me. Okay. Um, how is it kicking you guys out of the game? Is it just randomly? Are you just randomly being kicked or what's going on? Is it like disconnect, disconnect, disconnect? Uh, what would, what will happen in some instances is you'll be kicked if the other player leaves. So that could be the instance, but you should see a message that says like you've, you've been kicked from the game. Uh, if once I get this spectator mode going, I'll be able to do it a bit easier, like looking through the games. Um, okay, here, a bunch of people just joined and a bunch of people got kicked. Connection reset, player W1 in game 9, Zenber left game 9. Okay, let me run a script here and let's see if we can get this going. Randomly kicked? Yeah. Um, okay, one second, guys. Holy crap, people are just disconnecting, connecting. Left game 17, player none, left game 17. Hmm. Okay, let me print out the errors from the server side and then I'll try to fix some of them. Uh, I'm just gonna restart the script guys. Sorry about that Okay, so server Should be printing these exceptions. So I have this try here If it's a server end issue, it should just print them if it's not hmm, let's see because when you disconnect That either means means you left or it means that you know something happened. So let's see here if not game okay let's run the server again okay two p two p so it seems to work like at the beginning somewhat player zenbar left game one right like i don't know if that's randomly kicking him or if he's joining in the game um let's see here let me get in the game here hmm so my spectator mode thing isn't working. Spectator left game zero. Let's see if I can get this in here. Yeah, no, it's giving me all this. Um, spectator left game zero. Oh, it's because it's... Okay, that would probably be why. Let's see here. Game. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to restart the server one more time, guys. Sorry about that. Uh delete that all right Let's see if I can get in one here Tim okay so there we go their turn I'm playing against this guy now let's see how long I can get this to go for and then I'll see what's going on with your guys games but for me when I do this it seems to be working um, fairly well to be honest for like my game end but I don't know. Also, these times are messed up. P1, P2. So I... Oh, this just changed. Hey, Tim's time. Zenbar's game. So the names are getting messed up. That's it. Make a kicking tag on server. I don't I don't randomly kick people. That's the thing. I don't know why people, people are getting kicked out. He's moving that. Okay. So there's some latency issues here as well. Hmm. Okay. 
But like, I'm playing against someone here. Whoever's playing against me, let me know. <laughs> if any of you guys are like successfully playing a game of chess against someone, um, let me know that and that would be helpful to know. Yeah, see now I can't like I can't move right now. It just seems frozen. Connection reset. Hey, Tim's. Okay, I'm going to quit that and let him go. If you want to quit the game, it's better if you click Q to quit. Um, hmm, disconnect, disconnect, player two, connection reset. I don't know what this connection reset by peer means. I'm going to look that up. Uh, okay, keyboard interrupt. Let's run this again. You guys can keep messing with that. Let me know the errors. I'm going to look up some stuff here. Connection reset by peer. High amount of traffic. Okay, so it may actually be a traffic issue that's that's causing this. Uh, I'm just gonna make a modification in here and see if I can can fix this um, by just getting rid of. I have like a timer. Uh, again, I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know if this is a traffic issue or what's wrong here. I'm the winner. <laughs> Tag on the server. Yeah, okay. Connection reset by peer. Let's see, error 404. <laughs> hmm. Seems the server side limits the amount of requests per timeout. As a security issue, you need to guess how many may be using the script with a counter and adjust your script to surpass the limit. Okay, so what the issue I'm having apparently and why you guys are getting kicked is because there's too much traffic going on right now. There's too many games running at once, which is something I anticipated. So what I'm going to need to do is just make it so that the re refresh rate to the server is slower. But that means that it's going to be like way laggier when you guys are running this. So I'm going to increase it. Um... What you guys are going to have to do is re-download this um, GitHub repo. Just re-download it and just run game.py again. I, I just made the change. So just re-download it and try to do it. You can see like people are just getting, holy crap. Jesus. Okay. Um, re-download the repo. I'm su shutting the server down right now so you guys have a chance to do this. And we'll see if this fixes it a little bit. If it doesn't, I honestly, I don't really know what's going on, but... I, w I really want to get the spectator mode thing working because I wanted to go through and see this. In my mind, this was going to work a lot smoother than it has. But I mean, you know, not everything works perfectly. Um, I also need, why not MySQL with the server on the web so the traffic's better? No, man, I'm not going to recode a server right now. Um, I'm just like messing with it uh, as we speak. Games, zero, board. Uh, okay, so we need to get rid of this first of all. Okay, so first thing we should do, if connections modulus 2 equals equals 0 current underscore game id plus equals one games current id okay but then connection goes down when someone else joins which means current game id hmm there's got to be a better way to connect people into games because what's happening is like someone will connect and someone will leave and the connections will be lower and then you're going to get in a different game based on your connections which we don't want so we'll create a new game no that mm current game id plus equals one if connections modulus two equals zero okay let's see here make a server handler for games yeah i have i have oh yeah print create new game i could do that but re-download that guys for right now i'm gonna modify it on my end too and see if all i did is just ink add a timer essentially so that it doesn't it goes <laughs> slower and when it's grabbing information which means it's going to be kind of annoying but yeah, you guys you guys will see how it works uh invalid game okay disconnect spectator left game that's spectator mode let's see an exception so if you leave while the peer is reset okay this does python have private and public instances uh no I'm just trying to find a better way to assign people into games so that we keep, hmm, 
like you should really be deleting the old games keep so the current game id is like that makes sense you add to the current game id i can delete the other game which will kick someone out i don't know how exactly to go about doing this um let's see so what i had before I want to look at what I had before on the server. Actually, let me go to the GitHub and have a look at this. And maybe I can just re-download that code and try again here from server. Okay, let's go chess game. That's fine. Server. Okay, so what I had essentially was, let's see here. Oh no, I didn't have the tries and accepts though. If like for some reason something didn't work, like you got disconnected, it would delete that instance of the game, which would cause the other person to get disconnected. That worked for me when I just had like two or three people going at once. So I don't know why it's not working now. Uh, let's let me download this new version. Except exception. Okay, and commit that. All right, I'm just gonna literally copy that. Let's grab all that, all right, raw. Okay, we're gonna just try what I had last time again, except I'm gonna get rid of this address because I don't want you guys to see uh, people's IP addresses. New connection. Connection. We'll get rid of this data as well because we don't ah, actually we can print the line of games I think you need a lobby then a queue of games. Yeah, you'd be correct that I pe put people into a lobby first and then I queue I just like write the plan of the <laughs> so you guys are aware the plan of this stream was not to write very much code at all Like I was just planning on just releasing this and being like go play have fun um, <laughs> I wasn't honestly expecting this many people to be playing so that's why maybe I can limit the amount of connections. Okay, let, I'm going to try with a limit and it'll queue you like it'll. If I do a limit, then it won't actually it'll just break you out. Uh, okay, let me try one. Let me try with a limit. So if the connections, I, we only run like three games at once and see if I can get that working. Maybe uh, let's see. You know what? Let's just try this. Uh, connections minus equals one. Really? What's wrong with that? Uh, that is except oh I forgot to comment out that I don't need to go back in that nano or just open server okay let's try this yeah this is not going as smoothly as I was hoping uh, okay someone's connected Let's let's try this. I'm really scared to keep running the server because then you guys just overload it like immediately. I have it's a good server, but I just I, it's just my programming, right? There's nothing wrong with the server. Uh, let's run a game. It's gonna be I'm gonna be spectator mode right now, aren't I? Oh, th there we go. Okay, I'm playing against Blue Jays. Holy crap! Okay. Um. So server's going down one more time. I'm going to fix it again. I, that, I remember that was the issue I ran into. We're just going to loop through the keys and just assign you into the next game if that doesn't work. So we'll say if G is less than, okay, if G not in games, then we'll just add a new game. So we'll say games. Say games and then zero was board eight comma eight. We'll do games G actually. That should work. Should I be using a VPN? No, no, you don't need a VPN. I'm not stealing your IP. Don't worry. Um, okay, let's fix this now. <laughs> yeah, whoever someone said in the chat cool idea brave project you're correct a very brave project i already had like i address already in use oh great that's gonna be an issue um yeah you guys can see here like this is what the server is it's eight there's eight cores 
um, tasks 237 through one running. Okay, let's let's close out any Python tasks I have right now. I feel like the firewall on the server might be blocking all these connections. That that's a very possible issue. I'm just gonna monitor this server tab. You guys go ahead and try to connect right now. We got one connection. Let's see what's going on. All right, guys, try to connect. I want to see um, if I can get this going or not. We got one connection right now. Let me run one. No, I forgot. I have to. <sighs> connection reset by peer. Connect, connect. Holy crap. Disconnect. Player none. Left game zero. Number connections two. So it works with two games. What happens when we have three games? Because right now there's two games running and I don't see any issues. With three connections. So that means someone's waiting to queue for a game. So if I try to go in now. And no, it doesn't work anymore. Oh wait, okay. You're black. Their turn. Okay, I'm playing against someone. Let's see if they can move. Like, I don't seem to get kicked right away when I do this. But a lot of people seem to just be, like, instantly being disconnected. Oh, now I'm playing against someone else. So what's actually happening here is other people are um, joining my game. Like, when someone leaves this game, someone else actually gets put into this game. Which is not, obviously, what you want. What you want when someone leaves, it, it deletes that game. Um, so you get kicked. You can see this so this guy's turn. He's not going so I'm just gonna quit and then play again um, See if I can get in the game here I've had a few decent ones going waiting for player So that's me. I'm the third connection see if someone else comes in here and see if this works um, Yeah, trace back module named Name error named Jake is not defined So someone else left. Okay, guys, someone join. Okay, I'm, now it's my turn. All right, sweet. I'm playing against someone. Playing against Blue Jay. This guy is can. Shout out to Blue Jay. He's consistently been joining these games. I've seen him in it like all the time. So this. Okay, so I'm playing. I'm playing a civil game of chess right now, and this seems to be working. And this is against again one of the viewers right now, Blue Jay. Uh, and nothing's going on with our game. Like at least that I'm noticing. There's nothing happening. Um, so we'll see here. You have to put your name in quotations. No, you don't have to put your name in quotation. Your name should just be like text. If you type numbers and stuff, you might like run into an issue. Oh, connection. So Blue Jay either left that. Hmm. Connection reset by peer. Player none left game two. Okay, guys, options right now. We can keep, I can keep trying, I can set a limit on the amount of connections and see if that fixes things. Like, just set it so max, like, 10 games running at once or something like that. Or I can try to program to fix it so infinite people can connect. You guys can let me know what you want to see in the stream. Again, I'm just doing this for fun. I want to chat with some of you guys. I'm not really too bothered that it's not working as well as I was hoping it would. Um, because I kind of expected that, to be honest with you. But, um... Again, you guys have to let me know what you want to see from that. Uh, oh, number of games. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this spectator thing. Because the spectator code is just not working. If G not in games, games G equals board. What I think I should do is loop through all the games, see if they're ready. And if they're not ready, then just put that player in the game. So maybe that's what I'll do to determine the games. So we don't get these weird connection issues. Um, so yeah, okay, so let's try that. So let's say for game in games dot keys. If game, I guess, oh, it's gonna be keys. We'll say if games in game dot ready equals equals false, then we'll just throw someone in that game. So we'll just say game, say G equals game um with this new 
bytes object has no attribute ready. Oh, that would have not unpickled in time. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I didn't miss any super chats here, did I? Because someone gave me... Oh, it's okay. It says I have $8 in revenue, but it's because of... Um, it's like US to, get to Canadian conversion. All right. Let me re rerun this server, guys. Again, I can apologize for all this mess. I really wish this was working a bit better, but, you know, we'll see. Server. Let's see if I can get this going now. Override. Okay. So, by the way, in case you're confused, this is uh, Win scp or something uh which is just allowing me to ftp to the server so that i don't have to like do like i don't have to edit the code on the server could you not compile this into an exe i could but i like then i'd have to you guys would have to keep working with stuff so it's just easier to do this okay let's try this now game tim connect all right waiting for player player b1 in game zero so that means someone quits Hey, Tim, left game zero. Okay. I'm waiting for someone to join my game right now. There we go. In. So someone joined. They got put in my game. That's Blue Jay. Sweet. Let's run it. I've been playing against this guy like the whole time. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is funny. All right. Connection reset by peer. Again, I don't know how to fix that issue. So if the connection resets, like... How do you get a too much traffic through the socket? Holy. I could set a time. So there's too much traffic. That's the issue. Too much traffic on the server. That's that's what we've figured out is the issue. So it's working sometimes, but then we just get randomly kicked because there's too much traffic. All right. So let's say socket Python too much traffic. See if I can fix that. You guys can keep messing with it. Uh, what is the name of connection reset by peer? It's fatal. The remote server has sent you an RST packet, which indicates an immediate dropping of the connection. Um, this means let's see this. Disconnect. Connect. Yeah. So connection reset by peer is the issue. Uh. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can raise the socket time out issue. Okay, let's try that. And then that way, okay, socket time out. Raise Python. Let's see here. That's all. I want to raise the, okay, I want to raise the socket time out. Let's see this. So you got to limit it. Yeah, I have to limit like how this is low level networking socket. How to catch socket timeout. Set default timeout. Let me see what socket's default timeout is and then set it higher. Default timeout Python. So what, what I've determined is happening, I don't know if this is correct or not, is um that it just, there's so much traffic that it's not sending back in time and then it's just dropping the connection because it's saying well if you're not connecting i'm just going to disconnect so i want to raise that socket timeout um if so if i can do that then hopefully this will be work better timeout uh curses socket timeout okay so subclass socket timeout i don't know what the default socket timeout is i don't know what the thing is that it takes set timeout value Set a time on block and socket operations. The value are you making me non native floating point number express seconds. Okay. So if that's seconds, then let's just set that timeout to like five seconds. And five seconds should be plenty of time for that. Edit. Socket.default timeout five. Okay, so let's run that now. And see if I can get this to work. Almost worked. <laughs> install Pygame for me. Impressive stuff, man. Yeah, the, the script that I wrote to install Pygame was... Um, I was pretty impressed by that, to be quite honest with you guys. I'd show you one, but like it just makes sure that if you have don't have Pygame, it automatically... Um, oh, God. It's still not working very well. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just pouring water into my mug. Um, connect. Disconnect. Game one ended. Connections. 
Okay. Uh, key error. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's working, guys. Let's see this. Server offline. Try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, key error zero, key error, key error, key error, connection reset, key error. So I need to handle that key error. What line is that happening on? 49 and threaded client. Oh, hey, Terry, how you doing? Um, okay, so let's, let's fix that key error now. So I'm getting this... I'm getting this key error for games game, which means a game clearly is just not, but that it should be a key. Because for game and games.keys, if games game.ready equals equals false, g equals game, pass game, that should just work. If that's not working, we need to just try accept that then. Um, bo games games. Try accept when you don't know what to do just put in a try and accept let's break that um <laughs> all right let's try this print error game does not exist maybe we might have to do a like part two to the stream where tim actually like fixes this and makes it work properly i thought the most common issue was just the timeout issue which i thought i could fix by just setting it bigger but also i'm wondering now where are most of you guys that are connecting let me know in the chat like are you guys in india are you in like canada are you in europe because that's probably gonna influence <laughs> how this works with the timeout issue um yeah that's probably gonna have some effect on the timeout again i don't know but let's see break outside oh my god okay fix that break how do i do this just pass okay so if that's the issue then bo games game let's just pick one that's do we use game anywhere else game if game not in games break so it should do that here bo games game bo to start user bo games game so it'll just it's just crashes, eh? Okay, try. I don't know what's wrong with this. I'm in Canada. I'm in US. Sorry. Wow. I'm in, I'm in Brazil. You drink water from a mug? Yes, I do. Ottawa. Sweet. Okay, so we got people from all over. USA. Indonesia. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't really know what the issue is, to be honest. I think it's also a thing. Like, I'm sending a crazy amount of bytes. Like a lot of information like you can see this is how much it's sending every time so that could be an issue too maybe i like at some point you know i can have a look at this when i'm more focused not on stream and try to fix this um uh, we'll, we'll keep going with it though okay so connections plus equals one con dot send data string bo equals games game if that doesn't work let's just pick another game so we already have the script to do that so if games game dot ready okay let's try this oh no we need we'll just say bo equals games game check instagram dm great proposition tim <laughs> all right let's check well i'll check through my stuff in a second guys okay let's try to run this again i know the server's offline right now so you guys won't be seeing anything um server yes but like this works for two player i might just max the connections at two and play against some of you guys and like if this doesn't work if you guys are interested in doing that let me know or maybe make it like two games running at once and then hopefully that can like make things a bit better uh because again i don't really know what's going wrong with this tim yeah it's hilarious the second that i start it like a ton of people join in so i know you guys are just like waiting to queue in the game uh, what does it say here? New connections. 
Well, who's keeps naming themselves Hi Tim? Okay, I'm playing now against someone. See how long this see how long this works. <laughs> I'm playing against Blue Jay. Why I always play against Blue Jay? I think it just me. Blue Jay left game. Hey Tim left game. Connection reset by Peer. I still I don't get. I, I'm from Greece. I still cannot connect. Also, I tried ping servers IP and has a hundred milliseconds latency. It's not too long. Maybe something other is the problem. Poland, dude. Yeah, you're. Bo reference before assignment. That's an issue. Game does not exist. Okay, let's try this again. Try accept. Print error. Game does not exist. Okay, let's not do that. Just go instead of pass. Equals BO equals games games. BO is here though, so this should be fine. Um BO reference before assignment. Where's that issue? BO to start user current ID line 63. That shouldn't be an issue. It should have BO should be defined. Oh if so otherwise, so you say if Okay, we say BO equals none. If not BO, then create a new game. Some will say, we'll need to global current game, or we'll just do it by connections, I guess. We'll just create a new game. Say games connection over two. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave this running. You guys can still try messing with it. I think I'm just gonna focus, dial in here and try to fix this. Uh, with this, it just, it has to be something with just the game queuing and just something like that. Unless people are quitting from like the client side. Uh, but I don't think there's something wrong with the client side. And if there was, then it should be spitting out the error to you guys when the game crashes. So if you see those errors, let me know. But um, let's just try to get this working. If try BO games game. So I want to have a unique ID for each game, but I'm doing it based on connections. But I can't do it based on connections. Because if I do it based on connections, then it just like, that doesn't work. Okay, so deleting games, try Dell games, games, connections, minus equals one, game, game ended, disconnected player. Okay, that should work. Get rid of this, say BO equals games, games. I got a 56 number a few times and running it. Oh my, I don't even know what's up with that. I'll run the game side and see what's up with that too. It's funny cause this works so well. Like I've run, I've had like four games running um, like on my computer and like my brother's computer and they was working fine, but now it's just not working at all. Um, let's just do this. Let's not go based on connections. What I think I'm gonna do is just loop through all the games that exist, see if First of all, those games. Oh. Hmm. I could just set. Rather than creating all these new games, I could just set, um, like, five games, have people join. I don't know if I want to do that either. So many different ways to possibly do this. If connections modules two equals equals zero, games, connections over two, four, eight. I don't think I'm even, I think I'm just going to loop through and see if there's any games that aren't ready yet, add someone into that game. And if there's no games, then just create a new one. Okay. So for game in game.keys, if game, game.ready equals false, g equals game. Okay. Perfect. We'll say if, we'll just say g equals negative one here. If g equals negative one, then we'll say games zero equals and in this case, games not ready, game zero. But how are we ever gonna have game one then? If G equals equals negative one games, and then list games dot keys plus one games dot keys negative one plus one equals board. Eight, eight. I also ran out of input. Ran out of input bytes. Object is not actually ready. Server offline. What does that mean? It's what I've got in CMD. Uh, David, that means that 
like you received a bytes object it didn't unpickle and then the server offline so it just like something happened with the server there um i know the issue but it's kind of hard to like explain how that works we're getting this this issue with bo2 saying local variable bo reference for assignment which means that the try accept up here wasn't working properly so bo goes games if not spec okay bo goes games game that should just always work if that doesn't then we should just quit the threaded client um pickle data was truncated <sighs> pickle data was truncated you shouldn't be getting pickle data truncated i really tried so hard to fix that issue uh okay let's try this again okay let's send more data i don't think it's the timeout anymore i used to think it was the timeout let's receive this times eight so that we don't get truncated pickle data anymore um and let's see if the server runs a bit better now if we get multiple games going so we say for game and game dot keys if there's nothing it won't do anything obviously so if g equals negative one games list games dot keys negative one which is the n plus one it was board eight eight and then just say g equals then this So G is that, and then G. Hey, to anyone who's new, if you guys want to try this out, I'm just having some issues getting this server running properly. I'll probably go for like another hour or something, and we'll see, um, you know, how this works. Number of connections, number of games, equals the LAN of games. That should be correct, actually. Should delete the game when you leave. I almost want to max it to four connections and just say, don't accept the connect. Okay. So I'm going to max the four connections right now. I'm going to say if connections is less than four, otherwise break. And we'll see, like I'll slowly increment. Um, what do you do it? I'll slowly increment, um, the amount of games that we have. And then, you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, so we'll start with four. And then we'll go up from there. Okay, so let me go server. Yes. Okay. Let's run this. Now I get invalid syntax. If really okay. Nano server dot pi. Actually, I don't want to edit it like that. Let's edit it here. Server dot pi. Instead of equals, we need equal equals. Such a silly mistake. That's fine. I uh, better fix that in here too, so I don't forget. If g equals equals negative one, run that. Nope. Run that. Okay. Connections. First four people get in the game. Go. List index out of range. New fix. One second. This is actually an easy fix. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Um, try. Because there's obviously going to be no games, so you have to create a new one. Except game zero equals board. So say G equals zero. Games G equals board. Okay, uh, try that now. This is so stressful because usually I can just test it on my own computer and then like if it doesn't work It's just an issue for me, but you guys are all like trying to connect constantly So like I can get it's frustrating for you guys, especially because you're just trying to help me out <laughs> All right, I gotta be fast here. Otherwise, I'm not even gonna get in the game. Okay game Tim Server offline if oh address already in use that that's an issue uh, H top Whoever's told me to do it concurrently um, that's a, that's a problem for another day. Uh, doo -doo. what is this network manager thing doing? I don't know what that's doing. I don't think I have any more Python processes running. I should be at the top if they are. Um, oh, people just like instantly connect server offline. Oh, I'm not even going to get in. Connection reset by peer. Let's see this. Tim. You're black. Their turn. Okay. What happened here? 
it just stopped running. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so what I did, oh no, this is that, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, that's just, yeah. I essentially made it so once it hits four connections, server just stops running. <laughs> I, you don't want that. Uh, Miguel, fishing was okay. It was kind of cold, but you know, it was all right. Connection reset, connection reset, connection reset, connection reset. Number of connections, three, number of connections. I want to reach four connections, and then that way we can just like chill. Johnny left game one. Come on, Johnny. Tim. You're blocked. Their turn. All right, four connections. If no one leaves, then you should be okay. We should see if this works. FIFA lover, I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? All right. Come on, man. Let's go, Zinber. It's your turn. If you don't go soon, I'm going to have to quit. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to play a casual game of chess. If you guys have any questions, you guys want to chat, ask me anything, feel free in the chat. Um, if you have any tips for what I... Like, if this works with four games, then we've kind of fixed some of this stuff. Oh, he's going queen out. All right. I'm waiting to see if it tells me that I left game. Okay. So let's go. Like, hmm. I also am like very bad at chess. So this is going to be an interesting game. I want to protect that pawn. If you guys have any chess tips here, help me out, please. It's an, it is cheating, but you know, it's fine. Um, okay. Ooh. It's going for the pawn. Oh, damn it. Now he's going to take that. Um takes that I take that let's go that um okay so this game is working I don't know what like everything else is having I'm gonna get my music going quickly here uh you still watching yes I am knew he's gonna take that this guy's killing me right now this is your old chess game. This is my old chess game. This is my old chess game, FIFA lover. I wasn't connected when it said I disconnected. <laughs> oh god, this is just okay. This game is working though. Like I'm playing a nice game of chess against this guy. Although he's absolutely like mopping the floor with me. But I mean, other than that, nice civil game. Also, guys, I'm working on this uh, really cool machine learning model. It's uh, it's a chatbot that talks like me. Um, I've got it like kind of working. Like, there's a, so much more I need to do with it, but like, it's really it's pretty exciting. So, if you guys are excited about that, let me know. Um, I'm planning like what I'm doing is I trained it off all my previous iMessage history, and I got all my responses to, like any given text, and then I, oh, I forgot that you can go diagonal. Oh my god, this guy's killing me. Um, I, Jesus, can't go there. Got to do this. Sorry, I got distracted. Chained it off, trained it off all my iMessage history, and then um, what did I do from there? Tr got the like responses based on what I've said. Oh my god, this guy's killing. I can't focus when I'm getting destroyed in chest. Now he's gonna take my rook, isn't he? Let's see. And uh, right now I'm just working on the model that essentially can like take any string of text and give you a response that sounds like me. But it's pretty interesting. It's actually like, I don't know, it's kind of blowing my mind how it actually works. Um, I've been following like a few tutorials online on how to figure it out. Uh, this, this video will be saved so you guys can look at it. It's kind of just been a mess. I've just been trying to figure stuff out and get people connected. A few people I think were playing games, but I don't really know. Um... I don't know if someone else is playing a game currently. Uh, I don't know if that's happening. All I know is I'm getting killed in this game of chess and it just not, is not going great. I really wanted to try castling, but then he kind of ruined my approach on that. All right, we got a piece there. Oh, now he's gonna take it with the rook. Looks like that one black mirror episode. Yeah, it works. Okay, so Zinbar is playing against me, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. You guys were all saying it wasn't working, but as soon as I start playing, it works for me. And it's nothing to do with my network, so I don't know. Um, hmm. It's kind of in a, uh, a bit of a pickle right here. 
there's not really much way to catch up could you guys would think i'd be good at chess but i'm really it's just i'm really just not I'm definitely going to play around with the server stuff. I've seen it done before on Python, so thanks, man. No worries, guys. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know, if it doesn't work, you can just steal the code I have on GitHub. It's completely open source, right? And try to mess with it there. What is he going for here? Oh, Zinbar left the game. I don't know if he left or, or not, or if we ran into an issue. So, yeah, that's a question. Okay, guys, try to connect, see if you can get your games running. I'm going to bump the games up to like six, I think, so that more people can connect. Um, so I'm going to quit that now. And then, yeah, let's just, we'll keep bumping up and see if we can get this working properly. Six. I feel like I should be printing out like what game it's putting you in, what game it's not putting you in. But again, we don't really, we're not that advanced here. Um, okay, so let's go server. Yes. How old are you, Tim? I'm 18, guys. I do really apologize. For a lot of you guys, I appreciate the help and everyone's joining in and trying to mess with this. I think it's kind of fun, but I mean, like, it's also kind of annoying because you want it. I want to get it working a little bit better, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not left the game. Oh, great. So you are black. It's their turn. I'm playing against player two. I don't know whoever that is. He must not have typed a name in. Oh, connection reset. Player none left the game. Player hey Tim left the game. Left the game. Left the game. Hmm. I'm going to try castle because I haven't done that yet. That'll be our test currently. Add a listener for an input. Um... Let's see. Oh, great. That's... He knows I'm trying to castle because he's listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> Move that out of the way. I remember reading somewhere like the rules of chess, like in your opening, you never want to move the same piece twice or something like that. And I've just violated that rule a bunch of times. Man, really? You're not going to let me castle? I just want to test my castling. Let's do that. So now I'm kind of screwed because he has all these pieces advanced up the board, but you know, I don't. This would be good if I was actually like a decent chess player, other player left. So again, I don't, oh, oh, there's something. I got an error that popped up there. Let's read that error. I'm going to, I'm going to run this with IDLE and try to play and see like what errors I get when, if I disconnect, uh, an invalid argument was supplied. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not running server. Sorry. Why am I running server? I want to run game. No. Edit with IDLE. Five. Tim. Let's get this pie game window open. All right. Waiting for player. Let's see who the next person to successfully connect to the server is going to be. Yeah, I wasn't really planning on making this stream like go for a long time. If I was, I would um, I'd try like attempt to fix all these issues, obviously. But again, I just don't really know like what is going on. There's issues on the server side. There's issues on the client side. Just a lot of stuff. And apparently, okay, now I'm in. So I'm playing against Blue Jay. I've been playing against this guy like the whole time. I just want to have this uh, IDLE window open so I can actually see what the error is when when I get one. So I'm just gonna keep testing this. We'll keep going. Just kind of play with it. Um. What else are you guys saying here? All right. I'm so bad at chess. I don't know, have any idea what moves to actually make. If you guys haven't seen my other live stream, by the way, I did, um, what is it? Like a 12 hour coding one where I actually went for 12 hours this time. And I did, uh, the tower defense game. So that one's cool. Okay. So. Ran out of input, bytes object has no attribute, ready, failed, server offline. Ran out of input. That is actually a easier fix. Okay, so we can fix that one. Ran out of input. So if you guys were getting ran out of input as like a main issue, um, I can fix that. Actually, what is ran out of input? Error Python. What is that? getting this 
I would check the file is not empty first. Most of the answers here have dealt with how to manage EOF error exceptions, which is really handy if you're unsure about whether the pickled object is empty or not. However, if you're surprised, pickled file is empty. Um, okay. So the pickle file is empty that it's sending to me, which means it sh wouldn't have been dumped from the server properly, or it just like didn't receive anything from the server. So it was empty when it was opening it. Um, okay, let's try to mess with that server okay um, connection closed they'll print e con dot send all send data equals pickle dot dumps bo okay is that always happening if not the break so it should just be dumping this this pickle object every time uh, but I guess if BO isn't defined, but it should be. So I don't know why that would be it. So in the client error here, pickle.loads, reply. Let's try to make this eight. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's doing that. I don't know why I'm getting that except socket error as E trying to reply pickles ran out of input. Hmm. Where was I looking that up? Okay. Let's see. Pickle ran out of input. Easy solution is to prefix each message with the length. The problem with your code is that receive when you use TCP socket by returning different amounts of data from what you might have expect, and they're sliced at packet boundaries. So the easy solution is prefix each message. Then for receiving, um, okay. For receiving everything the server sends until it closes its side of the connection, try this socket.send all. Okay, and then start server at address. So yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that issue. You guys were saying you were getting that issue a lot too. Um, yeah, I don't know. What's it? I wonder. Are any of you guys playing right now? It says some. It says some games are going. Player Jake left game one. Game one ended. I think the game aspect is working, but I think what's just happening is it's it's just crashing on the on this the client side. So I think I've honestly figured out because I don't get these like these happen once in a while, but that's not I don't know that's expected. So I think what I need to do now is just mess with the client side and see if there's a way that it you know it could keep trying um, rather than just doing this this issue here. Um, so we'll send that same data. We'll just say like wow. Should we try it? Like, I want to set a timer essentially. Okay, so let's import time. This is going to require that you guys re download this after. Uh, so I'll tell you that after. That's probably an issue too. You guys are using like different versions of everything. Okay, anyways, we'll print E and then we'll say try or say start time was time dot time. We'll say wow time dot time minus start underscore time is less than and we'll just we'll give it like a 10 second I feel like it's a long time we'll give it a five second timeout so it waits five seconds to try to get another response if it doesn't get one in that time it'll just break um so then what we'll do is just keep trying to do this so we'll keep if pick okay let's try this keep trying this So I could just do like a, a while and let's put the whole thing in a while loop, whatever I'm trying to do here. Let's just put it in a while loop with it this time. Then start time. While true. And we'll say if reply 
Okay, so if we get here, then we'll just break this while loop. If we get to the point where we can return reply, then break. Say, so, well, oh, it'll just return anyway, so we don't even need to break. It'll just keep trying it, but we need to do that time aspect. Let's do that. I'll say time dot time minus start underscore time. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any way that I can block people from joining because I want to just try it on my end and see if this works. Okay, I'm going to stop that connection. Um, Python equals Java. They are both, uh, to me, the same. No, Python and Java are very different. Okay, I've just updated a few things. I think I'm just going to just throw this code. Other player left. So what's that exception where it says, like, failed? Oh, failed just means it... it it broke that while loop. Let's get rid of that. Um, try accept end screen break print exception. Where else does this break sometimes? Print, 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 print. Please type your name. No, I can't do that. Okay, so I'm going to upload this code to GitHub. You guys are going to have to re-download it. I'm going to change the server here to what it is on my computer. Now I got to deal with all these different versions. It's just a mess. Okay, get rid of that. Go to GitHub. Uh, let's go code. Update files. So the ones I changed were client and game server as well okay everyone go to the github re-download this code um, I just updated some stuff. I don't, I, who knows? Is it going to work? I have no idea. We'll see and try that. Okay. We're going to, we're going to mess with that now. Um, and see if we can get that going. I just put in the chat too, because that would, it's going to happen sooner. I'm waiting for all these connections now to come in. So this is, let's see this. If you try to connect with the other one, it still might work, but again, whoa, okay. I'm going to have to update the code on GitHub again. I'm, I apologize. I should have tested this first, Tim. <laughs> Sir offline. What's the issue? Started connection, new connection. What? You guys, it says you guys are in though, Tim. But I can't join. Server offline. Why is that happening? Game zero ended, number of connections one, connection reset. Or any this it's not working, is it guys? Uh, I don't know what the hell, what the heck is happening? There's nothing, I don't think anything's happening on the server. I think it's just literally not, um. Oh, the reply might be, oh yeah, um. <laughs> I know what I did wrong. Oh god, okay. Let's go to network client.py. Just, everyone's like, it's broken, it's broken. Okay, let's see. Um. Well, time dot time is less than five. Uh, I, I apologize. <laughs> Go re-download again, guys. I changed it. That's yeah. That's yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna modify that one on mine now. Uh, and it with ideally. I, this just, yeah, that would be why it wasn't working. I was like, why the heck isn't this going? Now it should work. Uh, well, it's running the wrong thing. You're going to have to go download again, guys, from the thing. I apologize. Uh, let's see this. Still not working. Oh my God. I don't know what the issue is. Edit with IDLE. Server offline. Okay, let's try this. 
Yeah, I pulled just for all the mistakes here. I don't know. That's kind of fun to mess around with it, but like. This is breaking when it shouldn't be. Let's see if it can break. Okay, if running fall BO equals connect. So there's got to be something here that's messing up. Print. Okay, I'm just going to turn the server offline so I don't mess with you guys anymore. Let's see what this issue is. Server. Oh, well, now the server is actually offline, so that's going to be the issue. Um, okay, let's try this one more time. Try this. Tim. Server offline. So it's just, it's just printing. Oh, I'm not print. Print E. Tim, let's go to this. Float object is not callable. What did I do here? Subline. Um, float object is not callable. That's gonna be in here somewhere that I did this mess. Send float object is not callable. I don't even know where that is. Time dot time. Okay. <laughs> okay, where is my GitHub? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for like another 40 minutes. We'll see. Like, we'll get up to like two hours. Um, because I am determined to try to fix this. Um, and then we'll see. All right, re-download again, guys. I'm typing it in the chat because I know some of you won't see it. I'm having silly syntax errors. I should test this before I upload it to GitHub. I know, I'm an idiot, but it's fine. Um, let's run this now. And what? This one's probably not going to work either. I'm just like going at it each time. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We're in. Okay, so I fixed something. Um, again, I have no idea if this is going to do anything. We have no, but you guys, you need, you need to re-download. Otherwise, it's just going to kick you every time you try to go in. You just have, you got to re-download it. Um, otherwise it's not going to work. Where's my pie game window? Um, did my pie game thing shut down? I don't know what happened to it. Run this again. Main game. Tim. So I got in. Okay. You're black. So someone's on right now, I guess. We'll see if someone moves. How does Tim type and talk? Yeah, it's an interesting question. What is that issue? Getting some some error here. I don't know what it is though. I gotta wait for someone else to be able to successfully connect. Slow mode, maybe? No, I don't need slow mode, it's fine. My turn. Okay, so far so good. Oh, bytes, attribute, object has no attribute. Ran out of input, ran out of input. Bytes, object has no attribute, time one. Okay. So that means it didn't unpickle it. Um. Okay. Subline, bytes, object has no attribute, time one, which would probably be mean that I didn't unpickle it. So reply equals pickle dot loads. And then I'm returning reply, which would just be this because something didn't happen there. Oh, I can't return reply. Unless you make it out of this loop. So only if we get to here, are we good? 
So, oh no, because that'd just be the end of the while loop. I only want to break if this works properly. Break. I got ran out of input thing. I'm running on Ubuntu. Yeah, no, okay. That's, let's, let's fix this. Uh, I just got to modify this client file inside of live stream. Thank you guys again for the feedback. It does really help a lot. And let's go client, change that and commit changes. What is it? Okay. Someone was complaining. Why is this on this playlist? Let's go to one. I haven't heard yet. Rockabye baby comes on on the playlist. I know great song, right? Okay, so let's run that I've re -upload, I've updated <laughs> It just like it, you guys you're gonna have to keep downloading it is be if you have the git command you can just keep pulling it It'll be easy, but um, Tim Waiting for player All right, my turn An established connection was aborted by the software in your host machine. By top has no attribute ready. An established connection was okay. How do you do no not Minecraft? Um let's try this. In your host machine but not minecraft python i've just finished watching the tower defense vid how'd you like it man using some framework no i'm using no framework i coded this from scratch which is probably why it's not working um and establish connection with software in your host machine let's see what the issue is here timeout or other network network connection died firewall do, do we think it could be a firewall issue Timeout to other network. Network connection died. Firewall closed the connection because it was open too long. Connection was closed before process has been finished. Um, there's not really a framework. It's just like, I don't know. Solution. Disable antivirus, disable firewall. Okay, so it, sh it could be an issue with that. But I never had any issue before with that. Hmm. Let's see. So that was the issue that was like run into object has no attribute color. All right, well, that's a new issue. It's just, there's just a lot, you know, the funny thing is like this works for like two people. It just doesn't work for a lot. So I assume it's just an issue with like, it can't handle all these people and I just haven't coded in a way to handle all these people. Socket error and established connection. I should really maybe open like a new socket after a certain amount of people connect. Why do I keep getting air output? It was a pipe error. Curse server responds to request, and the client has already closed the connection. Browsers do that sometimes depending on usage. You can ignore those web. Okay, so that means like I want to make sure this client, the client doesn't close the connection on himself. So where is do I would even close this? I don't have disconnect here anywhere. Well, time, time, print e reply equals pick up loads. Hmm. So pickle that load should load that into an object, no? I don't need to like cast it or something. Um hmm. pickle dot loads reply. So bytes object has no attribute, which means it didn't get loaded in, which means when I returned reply, it would have returned that, not that. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
it should really just keep calling until it returns. All right, we'll do a timeout. We'll do a longer timeout, maybe. Less than 10. I don't want it to just keep like spamming the error message though. Uh, invalid load key eight pickle data was truncated. I, I don't know what the heck that error is. Some guy keeps, keeps naming himself. Hi, Tim. Tim, it really should save your name. I should have done that. All right, let's try this. I need to watch that console output. Oh. Oh, okay, I moved. It was just lagging, I guess. So connection was reset means that some like from the client side, it reset the connection, which I have no idea how to fix that. This game seems to be working smoothly. Right as I say that, it's probably going to crash, but we'll see. See, established connection was aborted by the software in your host machine. Yeah, that's an established connection. I don't know how to fix that. That's the issue. Python sockets. Okay, I'm gonna keep going at this for a little bit because if I can fix that, then I might be able to get against you guys. But I don't know what we've seen here. Flask socket. When running tests, do we need to install error and establish connection? I could bump that connection timeout, but this shouldn't be a connection issue on. Hmm. You could try to reconnect now because then it has to start a new. This is a very complicated issue. Take your time. You don't need to be stressed or anything. I'm not stressed. I just want to, well, a little bit stressed. But I want to figure this out and it's just frustrating because I had it working so well for two games. And then as soon as I went to um, maybe server blocks the real time sockets because a lot of requests at the same time. I'm going to send an email to. Um, the guys that on my server, I'm just going to put this on my other tab and just see if I can get them to respond because maybe there's a firewall on there that's blocking that. So let's see if that's the issue. So I got to go to again, big shout out to cherry servers. They hooked me up with this server. It's not definitely not their fault. That's not working. It's probably mine. Um, link to cherry servers. Are you guys still trying to connect? Let me know if you guys are working or not. I like you guys get in a game, I think, and then it just crashes like there's a timeout or something um, on the server. But it does work like the game works. Everything that's functional. It just that it's just the server issue. Right. So put that down. Um, oh, and you guys got kicked again. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just on my other monitor right now, guys, just working. Uh, developing a game is very hard. It can be fixed at once, and it can't be fixed at once. Oh, yeah, for sure. I know what you mean, man. Um, I do think that, that firewall might be an issue. Let's see here. I'm just logging into uh, to Cherry Server here and getting these guys to see if they can help me out. I don't know if there's a way to like disable the firewall on my server. Uh, we'll see though. Let me look at it, the host load on it too and see if it's like going crazy. Okay. Yeah, it says it can handle three gigabits per second bandwidth or that's what it has for bandwidth. So this should be fine. Uh, networking.
Hmm. So I'm talking to Zach right now at um, Cherry Servers. And we'll see if he gets back to me. We can see what's happening here. Player Azar left game, but I didn't connect. Really? What? How does it have... Why would that be happening? Oh, no, it's because of the thread that didn't end. When you guys leave, sometimes the thread actually doesn't end. Oh, that could be an issue, too. I'm Hey Tim, by the way. Oh, so some... Hey Tim, there should not be any firewall on the server by default. Just running some... Here, let me put this on my other tab here. Okay, so apparently there's no firewall on the server, so that's not the issue. And you guys are saying that you're seeing your names in the console, which is... How do I see... Okay, let's try this. Which is, like, kind of blowing my mind, too. Um, so that means that the threads aren't stopping, so we gotta fix that. So thread, try, break. Print exception as E, break. Because I would kick you, so we'll just break. Okay, so let's try that now on the server side. Gotta end that. Wind SP. I'm Hey Tim. Oh, the King of Mystery. Well, it makes sense because your name is the King of Mystery. All right, let's try this again. And go, <laughs> everyone go, try to connect. So now I'm starting to think maybe it's an issue on, like, I don't, who knows at this point, someone connected. Let's go to desktop, chess game, game. I will play against you. All right, their turn. Hey, Tim's time, 15, Tim's time. All right, Let's see if this works. Ah, uh, we left. Established connection was aborted by the software in your host machine. Like, I don't know what the heck that means. Maybe I need to disable firewall. If I disable firewall and this works, it's probably a bad idea to do this, but let's see. Domain firewall, turn that off. Let's try that. I don't want to leave that off for long, but let's see if this works now. Hey, Tim is back in once again. Oh, all right. Let's see. No issues yet. I don't know why I did that. I'm just literally randomly moving pieces because I already know that it's just going to break at some point. Uh, let's go. 
<laughs> Nathan, you missed quite a bit, my friend. Game one ended. Connection reset by peer. Okay. Oh, dude, to castle, that's not how you do it. If you wanted to castle, you got to do um, castle and then hit king. But now you can't do it because you moved the, the dude. Oh. So it wasn't the firewall that was the issue. Let's turn that back on. Yeah, so that's just not the issue. Um, okay, let's go to clients now. Might have to do another part time where I try to do this. I really wanted to get a bunch of people going on. It was working at first, like kind of, but then not really. Um, strange everyone is called player none. Yeah, I don't know why it's called player none. I don't know why it's Nathan. If you guys see your names and you're not connecting, then like let me know, but who knows? Um, so yeah, I think threaded clients, print exception E connection reset by peer so it's happening on the client side that it's just disconnecting oh i should probably change the socket timeout on the client side too because i did on the server side to be oh wait did i not have that i swear i added like oh because i just went back to my other server all right let's see here um okay change socket default Time out. This is like the last win. If this doesn't work, then we. I don't want to give up, but we might have to. Socket dot set default timeout. So I'm gonna try this on mine. It's set as a 10 second timeout, um, and then we'll try it on this as well. So socket dot set default timeout as 10 seconds. I know that sounds long, but in chess it's like slow moving anyway, so that's probably not that important. Um, I do want to try another network game like this. Okay, so. I gotta push, I gotta, I'm gonna have to reset this. Uh, chess game, server, yes. Waiting for connections, okay. Game, Tim. All right, waiting for player. Should get him here. There we go. Okay, you are white. My turn. Oh, ran out of input. 51. What the heck is that? Invalid load key. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's literally, it's, yeah, it's weird. Okay, let's see. Invalid load key. Pickle, the error you get is a standard error that you get when the network gets with wrong file format. What causes the error? What the heck? Most common pickles to pickle everything with a single dump to a file, but then you have to load everything at once with a single load. However, if you open a file handle and do multiple dump calls, then your load will mirror that. Your open. What are you trying to achieve? Okay. Um, may not be relevant. I had a similar problem when the pickle archive had been created using gzip. Compressed pickle archive is made like this. Try to open it through those errors, but if the pickle is open gzip, all is harmonious. Hmm. Unpickling error, unvalid load key. I don't know what that means. Try to unpickle something that had not originally been pickled. Yeah, I know what truncated is. I know I fixed like that one's a pretty easy fix, but it just this one is kind of weird. Okay, so reply. Oh, pickle dot loads. Am I ever sending anything back? That's not. What did this client used to look like? 
Now I don't have the old version of, oh, I do have the old version of client. I can look at that. Chess game, edit with IDLE. Yeah, this game is built on Python, whoever asked that. Pick equals, okay, if pick, self.client.send, pick all the thumbs. Okay, reply. The only thing this should receive is pickled data though. So I wonder if I'm ever sending any data back that's not pickled. Self.client.send string.encode data reply equals that client receive. Reply was pickled loads reply. Turn reply. Um let's see this. Pickle.loads reply. Okay. So I don't know how I'm getting that error now that I've added this timeout. So I don't know if I need this like timeout thing anymore. Let's get rid of this. I know I could have just shift tab to this, but you know, we didn't do that. So let's get rid of that. Let's try this now and let's open this with ideally so chess game game oh we don't need break anymore then okay let's edit this break you guys are I, you guys i love how you guys are still trying to connect it's just the persistency i love it um okay let's try this game I feel like it was working better at the beginning then I messed with all this stuff and now who knows. All right, someone join. Should I use Python as hacking purpose? I don't know, man. I'm just waiting for someone to connect so I can play against someone. All right, my turn. Oh, player Tim left game. Let's see, what is our issue here? Why did that, did I not edit this with IDLE? Tim. It just instantly disconnects now. So that's interesting. Um, where's my freaking thing? Server offline. Server's not offline. There it is. Oh my gosh. Other player left. Holy crap. Ran out of input. Ran out of input. Menu screen. Missing one required. Potential argument. Name. Oh. Could have fixed that okay bytes object has not you ready ran out of input ran out of input so it's something with the sending yeah i don't know man uh i am not a python developer no well i mean i don't know what do you consider a python developer i do a lot of development with python but i don't have a job as a python developer ran out of input data string pickle dumb spio which is the board Client pickle dot loads reply. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Don't know what is going on here. It's sending back the board. So now we're getting an issue here. Where am I? Where do I call menu screen, by the way? Menu screen win name could fix that. Okay, let's just try this again. It's like you need some break. No breaks. When I break, I'm just going to get off this, to be honest. I still haven't even eaten dinner yet, so I got to do that. Probably go for another few minutes, see how this works. Tim. All right, load that up. I don't know why that doesn't come to the forefront. Unpickling stack, un unpickling stack underflow. That's a new one. Let's try this one. 
I think now it's time to re maybe I got to restart the server. I don't know. I haven't restarted the server in a while. Let's try that. Um, address already in use. Oh, I closed it too quick. Okay, let's try this now. Oh my god, it doesn't. Okay, under pickling under stack overflow or something. Pickling underflow. Here, this is what it is. When pickle ends unexpectedly. Here, self request receive. You're receiving only 12 bytes max. Your pickle order must be longer than 12 bytes, so it gets cut off. I would not recommend handling TCP sockets directly unless you're very familiar with networking and you need high performance. That's just an HTTP to wrap your messages and use an HTTP library. If you do have to deal with TCP directly, you have two choices. You can agree on a terminator string. Would you up this code is on GitHub, guys? Um, console gave me error 32 broken pipe. Oh my god. Alright, so it's just a socket error. Listen process could not create a dedicated server process to handle the client request. The error is caused by a resource exhaustion issue, either with the OS or within the Oracle. Oh god. Socket error, error 32 broken pipe. Also, the following may need to be changed. Okay. <laughs> so, I just gotta find a better way to send. Large pickle over socket. Okay. Hmm. Socket or byte stream, so ideally to write your protocol, read this. This is a big example without protocol. Should be careful about buffer receive. Oh yeah, because okay, so pickle a file over a socket. IO dot bytes IO. What does that do? Hmm. So the way that I'm sending this data is just like bad. That's 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 the issue. Python pickle pickling over socket. Um, I don't want to read all that. Pickle dot loads case. Okay, so how to get size of pickle data? Why are we listening to Happy Birthday? It's interesting. Pickle data Python. Since the size of the serialized pickle of an object can be quite different from the size of the object in memory, oh, we should probably specify bytes. How to get byte size of pickle data in Python? Okay, I think I'm just gonna try this again. Run. F5. Tim. Playing against Johnny right now. I don't know who Johnny is, but let's see if, if we can get a game going. Other player left. Pickle data was truncated. Bytes object has not actually ready. All right, guys. So it's almost been two hours. How long has it been actually? And we're not really getting anywhere here. I'm gonna look at this and see what I can do with the sending of data. 
I think that all I really need to figure out, um, and I, you guys have obviously helped me uh, realize this, is um, that the the way this data is sending is just not it's just not good. Um, I need a better way to send this data. So, well, not send, receive the data. Sending it is actually fine. I need a better way to receive it on the, the client end and a better way to send it from the server end. So if I just sit down and focus on this for like half an hour, I should probably figure it out. But I am going to end the stream now. Big thank you to everyone who joined. Again, another thank you to Cherry Servers for hooking me up with that server. Uh, definitely not their fault that this isn't working. I just probably, you know, messed something up. And I really do appreciate everyone helping me out on this. Um, I had a good time chatting with you guys and doing this. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work, but you know, sometimes that's how it goes. And now I'm going to learn from the mistakes and hopefully be able to fix this and do something better in the next time. If you guys have any other ideas for streams or more stuff that you want to see, um, definitely let me know. I really enjoy doing these streams. And like, if I can do some more shorter ones that are only like two hours long, uh, that fits my time schedule kind of a little bit better. Cause the last ones I did were like two, three, four, like, no, what am I saying? They were like 12 and 18 hours long. Um, so yeah, anyways, guys, once again, thank you. going to hop off the stream now. And I definitely will, uh, if you guys subscribe to the channel, you guys will know when I do more streams and all that kind of fun stuff. So see you guys later.